Hello, I've been asked to show a quick video on how to play the Race to Infinity game. Race to Infinity Maths game is a game that helps children love maths. It has certainly helped my children uh, love maths and um, so many others that I know. So I'm just um, showing you how. Uh, you should have four playing tokens and two 12 sided dice and a pack of log, log cards and um, different denominations of credit tokens and and then of course a board now at the start it says that every player actually starts with no credits at all and then use the box lead as a cash vault and take out first of all from the credit tokens take out eight hundreds so eight of this Take out eight of this um, and, and leave them out uh, of the of the whole um, pile of credit notes. And then take out 12 of the 50s. Take out 12 of the 50s. Take out eight of the 20s. And take out 12 of this 10s. And leave them out in the box itself cover. And then also... Um, just shuffle, shuffle all the credit tokens and the lock cards. So I'll shuffle them like this and shuffle the rest of the credit tokens. Then you put the credit tokens on uh, at the bottom part where it says tokens here. Just lay them face down on here. They should be face down. And then put the lock cards right here. So the lock cards should go on here. All right, and face down as well. And so you take the dice and every time you roll the dice, so you put, place your player tokens on the zero spot, you know, which is the red spot down the bottom here, and place all your player tokens there. And every time you roll the dice, if you're playing level two, there are two levels, you can play level one or level two. Let's talk about level two first. If you're playing level two, um, when you roll the dice, you have four options of what to do with your two dice numbers. You can either add them, you can subtract them, you can multiply them, or you can divide them. Now, if the numbers would give you a remainder, um, then you cannot divide on that time. Now, you are trying to get from zero to infinity. You're trying to get from zero to infinity. Infinity is in the middle. Um, so you can't go you can't go straight up like this. You'd have to go this way or that way. You can either move backwards or forwards at any point in time. So even if you're there and you then decide you want to move backwards or forwards, you can. But you can only move backwards or forwards on every turn. You cannot move backwards and forwards in one turn. Um, and then don't forget that you have four options of what to do with your dice. You can either add the numbers, multiply them, take away or divide. Uh, now, if you're playing level one, then you can either just add the numbers or subtract them. Now, every time you land, the goal of the game is to be the first player to get to infinity with 200 credits in your possession. Um, so, and that person would be the first player, or that would be the, the player to win. Now, to get in here, though, you, you'd have to go through here or here or here. And you have to land on here, on here, on here or here. So if you're here, for example, and you roll a nine, and a three, you'd want to divide those numbers so that you can land one, two, three on here. You cannot do three plus nine and say one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't do that. You've got to land on here, on here, or on here to be able to go in and get to infinity. Also, on infinity, you also have to make sure that you land on infinity because you cannot go past infinity. So again, if you are somewhere here and you roll an eight and a four, then you do eight minus four and land on infinity. If you land on somebody else on the same spot, so for example, if you land on me, let's say my take, if my token spot was here, if my plane token was here and you landed on me, then you have two options. You can either banish me to even's lock or odds lock down the bottom here um, uh, or you can charge me 50 credits at your discretion so you choose what you want to do if you choose to banish me if you if i'm being banished into even's lock then what you do is you take my piece my plane piece you take my plane piece and you actually place it in the even's lock or if you're banishing me to odds lock you can you you place my plane piece and you put it in odds lock so if i'm in the even's lo lock 
or odds lock, then I have to roll two odd numbers to come out. And when I come out, I land on here. And when I roll two even numbers, if I'm here, I need to come out and land here. Apparently, there's a one in four chance that you're going to roll two evens or two odd numbers. However, um, there's a get out clause because if I don't roll five number if, if if five tons have actually gone by and i haven't actually rolled two odds or two evens depending where i am then i can come out for free instead of banning me you can actually also charge me 50 credits now if i don't have any money uh, or if i don't have up to 50 credits and you're charging me for 50 credits or if i pick up a lock card that says um pay a certain number of credits um back to the to the to the cash vault and i don't have it then I need to lose one turn. So anytime anyone needs to play anything, pay anything, and they don't have up onto the amount that they needed to pay, whether to another player or to back to the cash vault, then that person would need to lose a turn. Uh, one more thing, if you land in any of this, this bit here, then what you do is you get to roll the dice again. So I meant you, you, kept to, you, you get to keep the other people at bay. Um, so that's another option of, of landing there. When you combine your numbers, um, level if it's level two, you add them or subtract them or take away or divide. Sorry, you add them or subtract them or divide and multiply. Um, then if you end up with an odd number, you go that way. Can you see it says odd here? And if you end up with an even number, you go down that way. Um, oh, if you land in any of this, then you pick up what we call a credit token, which is here. Keep them secret and don't let anyone know uh, when you have 200 credits because your first goal is to get 200 credits when you have 200 credits you then your next goal is to land on one of this and all the while before you have 200 credits you're going around the circle it takes roughly about 20 to 30 minutes for um for, for two to three players and don't forget for level one for level one it's just plus and minus only and not plus minus multiply or divide so for younger children you might want to do level one level one is fun actually it's, it's also a different game entirely and then level two as well is and also for level one you need only a hundred credits to actually go in and start to start to win all right uh, so i'll start to go towards it right so those are all the main rules of race infinity i hope i haven't missed anything